emotions that are occurring with everything that's going on and and then filtering you know tending to my own PTSD triggers and um, health needs and balancing out the stress hormones so that um, my body it, it, um, when you when you're stress hormones are raging it you're you're immunocompromised we're all immunocompromised and so we want to make sure that we're giving our immune system support so that's been a big focus of mine which is also in sync with the cycle that we're in now in terms of the um celtic calendar spring we're in second chakra until may 1st march 21st and may 1st so today this morning, um, I love Deepak Chopra. I've read a lot of his books. I love the way he combines science and um, Indian mysticism with New Age. It's, you know, he's just he's 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 the whole package. He he connects the dots for me in many ways. Especially as a somatic body worker, I'm always looking for that synergy as well as a. Um, spiritual seeker you're right on you know so this is what hit me this morning and after listening to him talk about attention and intention and he used the example of you think about your big toe you're putting your attention your awareness into something specific you're sliding information specifically into your screen of consciousness whether that's pictures, feelings, um, sensory awareness, all of the above, right? And intention is if you decide to change your breath so that you can feel the pulse in your big toe. So I've been thinking a lot today about attention and intention and what hit me while I was doing my whole morning thing. Um, I like to, while I set up my studio in the morning, I like to eat my breakfast standing up. It's a habit from waiting tables. <laughs> and, you know, and there's a lot, I eat a lot of meals sitting down too, but there's, um, there's a, you know, it's better if you sit for your digestion, but for me to break that habit brings up so much resistance. <laughs> So it's, 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 it's kind of where I get a lot of creative flow while I move around. I'm a kinesthetic learner, so I need to move. I love moving while I create. Um, that's why I love doing theater and art. So what hit me though was when I start to speed up and I'm no longer in, I, my attention is no longer engaged with the moment and I'm starting to pick up the slid into the habit, the intention to complete each task as quickly as possible. So I can move on to the next thing that I'm in, I slide into what is referred to in yoga as the monkey brain. So what hit me is, um, if my attention to move as quickly as possible from task to task, then my survival brain is activated and the focus of the present. And I purposely use the word the present and circled it because it, you know, it's, it's, with so much death around us. One of the ways to move out of life fear is to move into life gratitude, right? What is a present in your life? What are your values? What is your focus? Um, so the focus of the present, like if I'm moving quickly from task to task, the focus of the present moment is put in the back seat. As my intention, my, my, it becomes number one priority. My survivor brain is to move quickly as possible to avoid heartbreak and grief and anger. And the, these emotions are fired off with hormones and, you know, and it's going to drain you anyway, but then trying to suppress them on top of, um, these hormones being fired, it drains the energy even faster. Now, when I put creative intention, when I put my attention into something creative with joyful intention, that's what I meant to say, 
it fills me up. You see, I wrote down here on the bottom. It fills me up with healing. And it fills me up with good hormones. And it also, this is where the healing, the, the transformation happens. Because as in second chakra, shame and blame is second chakra emotions. Those are your dark shadow chakras. And this also ties into what is in the heart chakra, grief. So this has helped me begin to break that grounded in habitual reaction to the present moment with survivor brain into repatterning my focus and just tuning it, tuning the awareness into looking specifically at looking at the body as a whole, but then bringing that attention down, looking at the microcosm and the macrocosm. Do I have low back pain? That's a sign of, in, of tightness around the second chakra, tightness, holding shame, holding blame, holding fear, emotions. Um, interesting, the Rona is, the coronavirus is, settles in the lungs. It's water, it's fluid. Um, second chakra is water and fluid. So water, if it's stagnant, it becomes diseased it becomes toxic when water flows it becomes life-giving so at the end of the month i like to do a simple inventory what's my list of fuck knows you know what is it what needs to change and what's my what's my fuck yeahs for the month what was just awesome so obviously just everything connected i just put the rona because there's just so much and i those two words just let me know what that heaviness is in my chest but also what came up through my work this past month, focusing on the second chakra and root chakra connection in regards to my trauma, what came up for me in the work, I didn't look for it, it just rose to the surface, was that this value, this reaction that I needed to please others for my survival. Now, I've known about this for quite a while, but not only did it come up emotionally, I was physically able to release scar tissue in my pelvis, um, which was releasing low back pain for me. Now on the fuck yeahs, I have to be honest, it's now. It's, 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 I stop and I look at what I have in my life and I feel so blessed. And I was seeing a story about India and I've been to India and I've seen these people and it's their day workers. And they're in fear. They're in fear for their lives. They have no, the country's on a 21 day shutdown. They have no income. They live day to day, meal to meal. So for me, what came up for me, and I said this to my husband last night, is I'm just feeling so wealthy and blessed inside and out. And instead of feeling guilty about that, I'm cherishing that. Because if we cherish that and we understand where these resources are coming from, then we know how, what we need to stay balanced, what we need to stay um, taking care of ourselves, building our immune support, and then letting that overflow uh, help others. So um, I also look at like March adulting. Like I remind myself, we got stuff done. We, we got garden seeds that we've been wanting. We're moving into the new space. The tenant we had problems with in January moved out. We did, um, you know, adult stuff, RV fixing and, uh, renewed registrations, personal stuff, breath work, immune support. My husband and I have set up a new ritual where every night, we give each other a hug and then we do to um, in Asian, like cupping on the back of the lungs like that because to loosen any stagnation in the lungs and help keep um, the air flows going. And then I also put like March play. I did more dancing, which I've been wanting to do. Um, I've been supporting my second chakra, uh, taking longer walks, sunbathing, 
what I call chi play, just doing breath and slow Tai Chi type of movement, but making it playful. That's where I throw in like the ministry of silly walks or silly dancing, but doing slow motion and just play with the different speeds and sounds your voices can make with the motion. Um, so, and then there's my March craft. So did a spring ritual on the equinox and color crafting and color chakras. And so it's kind of interesting, like it feels so long ago back to the beginning of the month and what my seeds were and what my, what my focus was and what I wanted to get done. Um, and a lot, some of it did get done. And then there was the unexpected, as we know, as the virus increased and, it, and what was immediately needed to change for us to move further on. Um, so I had what I was grateful for for last month. I got that from Alexis Raccoon. She's this amazing artist, spiritual seeker. I adore. I've been slowly started coloring again. Um, haven't done this page. Did a little coloring there. Um, I really liked how these two pages turned out. And then I got a little bit of coloring here. Um, what's interesting though is for spring equinox and new moon, I did in one oracle pull each. I didn't feel up to doing a long oracle spread. So I got awareness and release. And so these are themes definitely coming up for me. <laughs> like next thing I know I'm watching a, I, I happen to turn on a Deepak Chopra video and it's all about awareness. Um, by the way, that's, uh, I put the full video on the Facebook bad girl mystic page. If you want to see it, it's really interesting. I have more notes I'll share with you guys later. And this is a, the like March, April pages, which I like to work on this month. All right, I'm starting to talk fast because I'm aware of the time, but I thought it'd just kind of be interesting to share with you. Like, you know, here my head was in the beginning of the month before, like, everything happened with the Rona. And um, I wanted to say, I wanted to sow deeper in my magic. I wanted to bring more attention and intention to what I was doing. Um... And then, like I said, I kind of, my consistency was up and down, which is normal with this trauma that we're all going through. And now I'm, as I was sharing earlier this week about the transformation, the stages of transformation, I shared victim, survivor, warrior, t alchemist. So I'm in survivor and I'm in alchemist. I'm, I'm like, you know, now I have a certain amount of knowledge about my own alchemy and how I want to work my alchemy. And I have a, the full picture focus of my alchemy. And then I have this, you know, just that little, like where I've turned the dot and brought the focus into a more specific focus so I can just connect the flow moving from the root chakra up through the second chakra, putting notes in my book of shadows as things come up while I color and in my movement practice and in my oracle readings, and then doing an end of the month reflection of what's happened. And it's really fucking cool. It's really fucking cool to see that transformation happen. And when even if I just when I see those little synergies, those little connections of what has come up from what I was where I was struggling and where that next piece of the puzzle is of what I can release from survivor brain, what I can install, what I can put my intention of being the alchemist, being the lover, of wanting to be in my heart power and releasing that what that habit that no longer reflects who I am and it's in the notes on my phone I'll share more tomorrow because I am running out of time but it's that's where the pocket is that's when we begin to sit in the pocket of our magic is when our attention and our intention our movement our heart our spirit our b m mental engagement is aligned Mwah. Peace out.